Well, hey, we're down at Timeless Archery Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our website at www.timelessartgr.com. Um, we're uh, working on a radio right here. This is a uh, Zenith, what is it? The 10S 153. 10S 153 <laughs> radio here. So, um, thanks. That's a bigger one. Yeah. Anyhow, we've already started to strip the radio. Um, well, I'm just going to show you how we do it down here. Though. It's all done with a paste stripper and you just. Apply it on. Just a regular old, uh, it's Kleenex, or clean strip is what it is. We get it at like the Home Depot or Menards. They sell it down there. It seems to work the best for us. So anyhow, I put that on there and this old finished lacquer comes off nice and quickly. Um, we've already, uh, worked on this side, Sandy and I have. See how it looks there? Can you see it pretty good? Yep. You got the beautiful walnut on the side, and then you got some nice hardwood here, maybe poplar, possibly maple, I'm not quite sure what it was, some hardwood, poplar, maple. Maple, it's up in here. Down in here and through there, that requires a toning. Um, Prep work. We've already went through Sandy and I. <clears throat> if you see anything dripping, it's just because it's just been stripped a minute ago. Um, it's not that difficult. You just get up in there with a brush uh, <clears throat> really well and let the stripper do the job. Then I just take a little brush like this with some lacquer thinner in it, on it. Just come to and work it out. Just like that. So, obviously, that's how that's done. Let's see here. We're going to try and make this quick because it's a video and we've got lots of work to do. Nobody wants to watch Bruce Stripper Radio from start to finish. So, That just comes off really nice. Normally I'd have gloves on, but I gotta get down and get some gloves here. You don't have to even have that touch your hand. That hasn't even touched my hand yet, see? And you just flip that around. Get another portion of the rag. I just come up here like this, and I just take this. And... Let's see 
got to have a big endless supply of rags in a place where you can get nice and sloppy. That's what it takes to strip. Still, once again, there's really not nothing on Bruce's hands. Is the first coat. <clears throat> Any more at stripper over there, you guys? Mm -hmm. Well, the nice thing about this stripper here, um, clean strip, is that it doesn't remove any color out of the old uh, furniture, the radio, or whatever you're working on. It just removes actually the finish. Um, and that's what we like to do. We like to preserve the old color when we can. There's enough work in refinishing furniture down here um, when you don't actually have to sit there and uh, Put all new color and everything, you know. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. So well, that said and done. That's why we like that stripper. We've had lots of different brands, and we keep going back to that. And of course, like my rag gets like that, I just flop it around. Once again, I should have my gloves on, but every time I get gloves down here. Everybody uses the mop like it's a Usually gives the effect like maybe three coats. Actually, I need to think two holes is going to be good on that. Let's see here. Here's my little brush. I 
Yeah, we're moving pretty quick because we just got to get this over with. Got a little bit of lacquer thinner here. On a brush, getting it out of the cracks and crevices. Can't do this with Gojo hand cleaner, can you? <laughs> but Gojo hand cleaner does work really good for cleaning your hands up. But not refinishing your radios. So, Yep. Oh yeah. So if we're wondering what Bruce is using here, a little liquid I'm using, it is lacquer thinner. Not mineral spirits, lacquer thinner. This uh, is a water soluble stripper that I'm using. That means it's meant to be cleaned up with water. But what I found out is if you miss a little bit of uh, finish because you didn't strip it enough times and you uh, go with the water rag on it, it'll clean the stripper, but it won't touch the finish that's left on it. So if you use a little bit of lacquer thinner, well then you can just actually be done with the job. Put just a little bit of something on there. The lacquer thinner will take it right off. And we're not talking paint thinner, which is mineral spirits. That doesn't do anything. That'd be a waste of time to put that on here. A waste of chemical. This is just actually a painter's paintbrush. This is one of Sandy, Sandy's old paintbrushes here. She likes to give them to me when she don't use them anymore. Yeah, we have them right down here. This is a nice brush, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, it does, don't it? Mm -hmm. Is that the radio for the New York guy? Yep, this was radio will be going to New York City. Cool. This radio was supposed to have been coming from New York City. Uh-huh. But the So that's Kim's radio? This is Kim's radio. Okay. It'll be soon be Ron's radio. Mm. And uh, Ron had purchased one of these from somebody, I think maybe in Canada, but they had the wrong speaker in it. And he was gonna have Kim Herring rebuild the chassis. And Kim found out that it had a ra ra wrong speaker in it. So these guys uh, made some kind of arrangement where Ron would just buy this one. Oh. Instead of coming down and bringing me his.
looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think it looks good. So let's yeah, see here. Pretty quick. Come on over here, Corey, without falling on the floor. Corey likes to fall on the floor and <laughs> twitch around like he's throwing a tantrum. So the side looks pretty good. Yep. And here's the front side here. As we can see, it's all good and stripped and clean. Sometimes you wipe these back with a little thinner again. So the next step on this is going to let it dry overnight. Then, here's the other side. got the radio all stripped down. Do you see it pretty good from over there? Yeah. She seems to be in tack pretty good. Alrighty, well thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs>